Hello everybody, today we are going to give you some updates about coronavirus and I'm going to tell you some true facts that you really need to be aware of. I'm going to get to the bottom of this because there has been a lot of data, there has been a lot of discussions, there has been a lot of mistakes around this coronavirus and I think I, it's my responsibility to make sure that that craziness ends, okay, at least for patients who watch me. So, basically, we are going to talk about what happens with this coronavirus. Guys, we had two videos already. I have been getting, video, I have been getting comments, questions about this coronavirus. But the bottom line is, stop being drowned under these details. You're young, you're old, you're sick, your diabetes is under control, your diabetes is not under control. Stop that. Just stay away from people. It's not that hard. 100 million Americans are in, the, are in the home prison, and I still see people hanging around together, making fun, going partying. Stop that. Do not do that, because it's all of our responsibility. Even if you're young, people are accusing me, saying that, oh, when you have diabetes and you have chronic conditions, you may die. Yes, you may. But even if you don't die, you can kill somebody else. Why is that so difficult to understand? Now, I really appreciate people who understand the responsibility. But as a healthcare worker, I am going to work every day, and I'm trying to see people via telemedicine, and that's why we have sugar MDs, uh, especially for these days, it's extremely useful. But if I have to see somebody physically just because they're really sick, and I do, and it's my responsibility, uh, because I have to. But you guys, you don't have to. If you're not a physician, if you're not a, uh, a, 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 at the job that requires you to be there uh, for somebody else, to, to like you may be a policeman, a fireman, or, or a physician, I understand, but if you're not, you're young, you're old, doesn't matter. Yes, the symptoms are, let's remember the symptoms. The symptoms are coughing, right? It's very important. Within the 2 to 14 days after exposure, you're going to probably have some cough. Fever is extremely common. Up to at least 90% of people get fever, but this could be a mild grade fever. So if you measure your temperature, it's like 100.1, you may say, oh, I don't have a fever. Well, you, you, you do, it's, it's a mild grade fever. You don't normally run at 100.1, do you? No, you're running around 98, 99, 98, 99 maximum. So if you're going about 100, you definitely have a mild grade fever. Now, uh, you're, if you're young, your symptoms may go away, but it doesn't mean that you, you just go and do whatever you want to do, take care of some jobs. If you have any signs of symptoms, I said before that, you, you, you know, if, you're, if your symptoms are not severe, you may just stay home and do not go out. But now I'm recommending, actually, for everybody to get tested. Now we have tests available, and I think you guys need to be tested, even if with the mildest common cold symptom get tested because if you do not understand the number of cases we really are not on top of it so United States government has to know how many people are really infected because one person can infect at least five people so one person can infect at least five people. That's why this case ex escalate. It goes from 10 to 50, 50 to 250, 250 to 1,000. Now we are up to almost 40,000 cases. So, and you know, 400 people, 500 people already died. Now, again, even if you don't die, uh, when we say mild symptoms, 80%, 85% of people get like mild symptoms. When I say mild, that means like it's flu. It's like you cannot move your arm, you're coughing, you're, you, you are sick. Okay, that is mild. Now, when we say severe, that you're having a hard time breathing. Without oxygen, you may die. That is severe. Severe doesn't mean that you're staying home. That means that you're, you're in the hospital and you're needing oxygen treatment. So just because I say young people get mild symptoms doesn't mean that, oh, you're going to be all right. You're going to go do things. No, you're going to be in the bed. You're going to feel horrible. You're, gonna, you're, gonna not, you're not going to be able to do anything. And you're so courageous, you go out and want to infect people? Do it. So if, if you're a killer, that's a good way of to kill people, right? Okay. So the next thing, guys, is the severe symptoms, you end up in the hospital. And, you know, if you have diabetes, I don't care if your diabetes is controlled or uncontrolled. You need to seek attention, get tested, 
of course, control your diabetes. That's why we are here at Sugar MDs. Especially when you're sick, your blood sugar will probably skyrocket. And if your blood sugars are high, your immune system will be even uh, more down. So you don't want to do that. So please call your diabetes doctor to make sure that, that it's all under control. Now, for our practice, it's just a text message. You know, a couple of days ago, somebody called me. They said their blood sugar was 600. We, we took care of it overnight. He woke up with a 150 blood sugar. So that's what we do. Uh, and if you have a cold symptom, that's what you need to go to ER or urgent care, get tested. If you need to be admitted, you need to be admitted. Don't drag your feet. Don't say, I don't want to go to hospital or I don't want to stay in the hospital. You should. It's, it's actually 100% better for you to stay in the hospital because otherwise it may be too late for you. Uh, again, 5% of people end up in the critical care, and those people may go into, you know, the pneumonia, and, you know, they may need a ventilator. That's why there's a huge discussion about right now how we're going to make ventilator. We should not have had this discussion. We are too late. There are a lot of countries, like I'm from Turkey. Like Turkey, uh, I, I'm not t super proud of Turkey normally because it's not the most democratic country, but... I'm like amazed and surprised how they are so strict and they were able to control. Their cases is like around not even a couple hundreds. So they were one of the last countries because they took extreme measures in the beginning and their slope is instead of like this, instead of going like this, they are like this, okay? So when you are not, when you're controlling the cases, it's a lot easier to get out, to get out of pandemic. But if you're like China, you're going skyrocketing, and the United States, of course, follows China, whatever the China does, come on. Now, we, we should be better than China, right? This is the United States. But now look at us. We are looking at ventilators. We are trying to have a, a car company to make a freaking ventilator. This is ridiculous. That is our responsibility. That is us. Us, that is young people's problem because young people are infecting older people and trying to almost kill older people. Now, those old people do not have to have uh, diabetes or chronic disease. So a lot of old people say, oh, I'm healthy. You know, there was a guy I talked to him and he said, he's like, oh, yeah, I've been going to the gym for like all my life. I'm healthy. I'm, I'm okay. No, you're not because your immune system is old. Your heart is old. Your soul may not be old, but your heart is old. Your kidney is old. Everything is old. You're not 20 year old anymore. Even if you don't feel like you feel like great, you will be infected and you will be in the hospital. So do not be courageous and do not write comments saying, no, oh, this doctor is crazy. He thinks people are gonna die. Well, if you don't think people are gonna die, then they will die. So it's better to take extreme measures than take no measures and saying, oh, your diabetes is under control. You're gonna be fine. Oh, you're young, you're gonna be fine. Oh, you're old, but you're healthy. You're gonna be fine. Then, then we cannot take care of you know, people who are really uh, you know, getting these infections and getting sick. And then we are going to come to a point where actually we have to choose who is going to live. Do you want to get to that point? Do you, should we choose the old people or should we choose over young people? What do, you, what do we do? We don't want to get to that point. So take advice, stay at home, wash your hands. You know the measures. If you're watching a TV a little bit, you will know what to do. You stay away from people six feet. Okay, people still don't pay attention. When I go to the supermarket today, like people are like, trying to run by me. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, you should stay away. This is the time that you should not be too friendly, right? So these are the rules. Stay away from people, wash your hands, um, and you know, make sure you, your hands are not touching your face, sanitize your hands, uh, washing is the most important. Now, of course, you know, just hanging out with other people. You may actually sometimes have symptoms, very mild symptoms occasionally. You may still infect other people. You may not have symptoms at all. You probably will have symptoms down the road, but while you're asymptomatic, while in that, um, you know, the asymptomatic stage, you may still infect other people. So as a result, it is not just my responsibility, not just your responsibility, it is a population. Think like a war. We are in the war with this virus and we have to be together. You cannot say, I'm old, I'm not going to the war, I'm young, I have things to do. No, you have to go to war. We are all in this together and that's how you do it. Okay, so again, this, this virus is way more deadly than, than the flu. Flu kills people. I don't know if you ever had flu, but if you, when you have flu, if you had flu, you know how bad it is. And this coronavirus is way worse than that. It puts people to the hospital. It puts people to the ICU. And just because you go to the hospital, that doesn't mean that in a couple of days you're going to recover. It may take you weeks. So if you 
think that your job is too important, you need to go to your job for like to save two days and to make two days of extra money, you may actually lose four or five weeks down the road. And that's not what you want to do. If you end up in the ICU, yes, you may come out if you're lucky, you, but even if you come out, you may have debilitating, debilitating long-term consequences from this coronavirus. So it is time to take this seriously. It is time to act. It is time to stop bragging about yourself. I'm old. I'm young. I'm, I'm young. I'm healthy. I don't have diabetes or my diabetes under control. Stop that. And I think if we can beat this virus, we will beat it together. Stop commenting. Stop pointing fingers and be together. Stay away from other people. Stay safe. Stay home. It is okay. These days will go, they will pass. But if we do not do what we need to do, we will get stuck in this mud. We are going to be buried in our own mud. Okay, so please, please, please. Again, you know the symptoms, coughing, shortness of breath, mild grade or severe fever. You have to go to hospital. You need to get tested and you need to make sure that you do not infect other people. That is the bottom line. Now, uh, guys, again, if you have any questions, concerns, please let me know. We are primarily a diabetes company. We are a telehealth company. We are uh, actually more than a telehealth company because we are basically staying in touch with our patients. We are friends with our patients. Uh, we don't treat you like um, just another number or another patient who just pays one time and sees the doctor over uh, on the screen one time and, and the doctor goes away, everything is done. No, we provide um, 360 care, everything done electronically, very comprehensive, very thorough. That is why we are here. And I hope this video helps you in terms of coronavirus. I hope we get, this, we get over with and then we are going to go back to uh, controlling diabetes, preventing long-term complications. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give a thumbs up, uh, please subscribe as well so you can benefit from the future videos. We also have a lot of videos in our channel uh, that I think if you have diabetes you will benefit a lot from, and we will be releasing one to two videos at least every week, and I think you will enjoy that as well. Again, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin from SugarMDs.com. Have a wonderful day.